Please be seated. Hello, Your Honor. Hello. This is a case of Ross versus Nanez. Thank you, Jerome. Good day, everyone. Mr. Ross, you say your estranged wife is denying that you are the father of her 15-month-old son, Damon. She claims the man she's currently living with is her son's biological father, but you hope today's DNA results will help you save and reunite your family. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Ms. Nanaz, you believe today's results will prove what you already know, that your husband is not the father of your son, and after the DNA results, you want him to move on. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. All right, Mr. Ross, why are you so positive that you're Damon's father? Today, I'm here, Judge, because my wife, Taryn, um, denies me my son, Damon. I know he's my son. We're married. We've been separated. After today, I really hope that this will help reunite our family. And, Ms. Nana, as you say, the baby's not your husband's. No. We've been separated for three years, and we just... It's just not... I'm 100% sure that it's Natavius's. All right. So, you were married. You were happily married. Yes, Arne. For how long before things got rocky? Uh, two, maybe three months, and then everything... Oh, two, started. three months? Yes. Oh, okay. So, after two or three months of being married, things got rocky. Yes, yes. after I had my first... our first child, um, I didn't... I was never in the mood, never wanted sex, and I kept on telling him that, um, he should just sleep with somebody else since he was always complaining that I wouldn't yeah. give it up to him since I was his wife and it was my wifely duties to do so. Oh! So, you're saying... After having your child, your first child, yes. you were not feeling very... like being very sexually active. Yes. And so you basically told him, just go have sex with somebody else? Yes. Did you do that? I tried, but never did. So you didn't. So how, do the mar how does the marriage get on the outs so that you end up separated? He asked my best friend to have sex with him, and she told me. <laughs> Did you ask your wife's best friend to have sex with you? Yes, Your Honor. <laughs> Mr. Ross! <laughs> and what does she say? She said, yeah. Oh. She came over and then... And then did you happened. try to have sex with her? Tried, but nothing ever happened. And so once you heard that, what, you were done? Yes. Because you told him to go have sex with somebody else, but I don't mean my best friend. <laughs> <laughs> How long had you been separated before you found out you were pregnant with Damon? Three years. <laughs> Two years. I took her to the appointment. During that separation, were you... were you still intimate? Yes, Your Honor, we were. All right. So, you were still having sex throughout the separation? Yes. All right. And so, at the time you found out you were pregnant, were you sleeping with anybody else at that time? Yes. Who was that? Natavius. All right. And that's Mr. Anderson. Yes. So, you believe that's who Damon's father is? Yes. But you let Mr. Ross take you to the hospital? Um, Natavius was at work that morning, and I let him go to work because I was... I didn't want him to lose his job. So, when you found out you were pregnant, who did you tell? I told both of them. Huh. All right. You told both men, I'm pregnant, and both of you could be the father. Yes. Did both of them accept that fact, or did they say, no, I'm not the father? They both accepted it. And so, now, Mr. Ross, when you find out that Miss Nanaz is pregnant, your wife, and you know she's having sex with another man at that time? No, I did not know she was having sex with Natavius at that time. So, he thinks you're gonna work it out, and you say... No, you with somebody else. Yes. Are you cheating on your boyfriend with your husband? <laughs> technically... How does that work? Oh, uh, they... She puts it that it's technically not cheating since we're still married. Oh. Okay. <laughs> so, when you find out your wife is pregnant, how'd you feel? I felt excited. We were about to have another baby, extend the family, try and, you know, 
Kindle and everything. you think, you know, you're already trying to rekindle the relationship and now this baby is going to be the thing that really brings everything back together. Yes, Your Honor. Right? Yes, Your Honor. And, Miss, and that is you, you say, I knew from the get-go it wasn't his baby. Yes. But how do you know that? The blood type. Mm -hmm. Really? Natavius is O negative, just like Damon and Andrew is O positive. And but before Damon that, like when that. you were just finding out you were pregnant, you say you told both of them. Yes. So is it safe to say that you didn't know and you thought it could be either one? Yes. Okay. Okay. So throughout the time you were pregnant, who went to the doctor's appointments with you? Andrew did. Mr. Ross, your husband. Yes. You went to all the doctor's appointments. Not all the doctor's appointments. There's times that I did ask to go, but Natavis went instead. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I'm still confused as to how you've come to the conclusion that it's Mr. Anderson's baby. Can you take me back to the night when you say you conceived? Somewhere around my birthday. Okay. Tell me what happened. I had sex on my birthday with both of them. With both men? Yes. At the same time? No, not at the oh, same time. Oh. No. No. <laughs> no. No. If you want more episodes of Paternity Court, make sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell. Who did you have sex with first? Andrew. Mr. Ross, your husband? Yes. And later in the night, I had sex with Natavius later more than once. So then in the morning, you had sex with your husband, and then later on in the afternoon the evening, you were with Mr. Anderson. Yes. On your birthday. Yes. So if that's the case, how do we ever decide who's the child's father because you slept with both men in the same day? Unprotected? Yes, Your Honor. So you basically got you a double feature that day. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, Your Honor, she did. So the truth is, you really don't know. So can you take me to the day Damon was born? Mr. Ross, you were there? Yes, Your Honor. Oh, so you at the hospital? I was the one that took her to the hospital. All right, so the day Damon was born, you go to the hospital, husband and wife pull up, go in, you all about to have a baby. Yes, Your Honor. Who else was there? Natavis showed up <laughs> 30 minutes before she... Mr. Anderson came? Yes. Who went in the delivery room? We both was in the delivery room. <laughs> Jerome, have you ever heard of such? How many cases have we done? Almost a thousand. This is a first. The first. Both of you all went in the delivery room. Yes, Your Honor. Both men went in the delivery room. Yes, Your Honor. Both possible fathers were in the delivery room. <laughs> yes, Your Honor. <laughs> Who held your hand? Natavius did. Natavius. So Mr. Anderson held your hand. Yes. And what were you doing? I was tending to Ezra. The other yes. child? Yes. And so you invited both men up or you just... No, um, Andrew actually called Natavius for him to come up there. Oh. Wait a minute! <laughs> Wait a minute! Did you just say your husband called your boyfriend to tell him to come up there so he could be there when the baby was born? Yes, Your Honor. What is going on here? I just called him to let him know that I was taking Taryn to the hospital because she was supposedly in... But why? It's your wife. It's your wife. You think it's your baby. Why even call? Because it's the right thing to do. He was there. He's been there, so... Well, during that time, he also had a girlfriend who was... Who had a girlfriend? He had a girlfriend. Oh, so you showing out for your girlfriend. So who signed the birth certificate? Natavis did. Now, usually, in this court, we know that when a child is born within a marriage, usually the husband is presumed to be the father. Correct, Your Honor. And is the person that gets put on the birth certificate as father. I wasn't there to uh, waive my rights, so I don't see how he was even able to put his name on there. What happened? Do you remember? Were you conscious, Miss Nennis? When... How did he get to put his name on there when you have a husband? When doing the paperwork, I quite literally don't remember. I was on a lot of heavy medication, so it's 
bit of a blur when doing the birth certificate paperwork. So you so don't I... really know how the name got on there? No, he did the pa Natavius did the paperwork. I he, just signed it. He sure did. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I have heard a lot of information about Mr. Anderson, Mr. Natavius Anderson, and I want to hear from him for myself. Jerome, please escort Mr. Anderson into the courtroom. He is here. Wow. Yes, sir. Come on. We're going to have you go right up to the witness stand next to the judge. Watch yourself going up the steps. Well, thank you for joining us today. Mr. Anderson, can you describe your current relationship with Ms. Nanez? Um, yes, Your Honor. As of right now, we are not together. You're not? No, ma'am. Do you believe you're Damon's father? Yes, Your Honor, I do. Not only do I share a bond with my son, I honestly believe that we look alike and he looks like many different people in, in my family. And that's why you believe you're the father? Yes, Your Honor. Any other reasons? Has Ms. Nanas told you you're the father? On um, separate occasions, there's been a couple of times where she has agreed that Damon is mine. So the day you were in the hospital, I need to know from you. Do you know she's still sleeping with her husband at that time? At that time, no. You didn't know? No, not at that time. Oh. So that's why you executed the paperwork, because in your mind, she's separated from her husband. We're together now. I'm the father. I sign. Yes, Your Honor. <sighs> so, Mr. Anderson, what is your relationship like with Damon? He's 15 months, beautiful little boy. What's your relationship like? I take care of him every day. Um, we play all throughout the day. So you are the father figure to Damon? Yes, Your Honor. Does Damon call you dad-dad? -da? Does he say dad-dad -da to yes, you? Yes, Your Honor. Does he say dad-dad -da to you, too? Whenever he's around, yes. <laughs> So, before I go to the results, Ms. Nanez, do you still believe deeply that Mr. Anderson is Damon's biological father? Yes, I do. And why do you believe that? Damon looks more like his family members than anything. Do you feel like Mr. Ross is claiming to be the father because he really wants to keep you and keep your marriage and your relationship together? Yes. Yeah. You say yes? It's been that way since we got together. He's never given us a chance to have a relationship. That's mainly the reason why I call Well, because they're still married and they're still <laughs> sleeping together. I understand that, too, but... She's with another guy right now, too. You have another boyfriend now, Miss Nettis? Yes. You done weaved a web. <laughs> this is a lot going on. Yes. Before I go to these results, is there any possibility that neither man? No, there's no other possibility other than these two men right here. All right, Jerome, I'm ready for the results. Okay. There you go. These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics and they read as follows. In the case of Ross versus Nanez, pertaining to whether Mr. Ross or Mr. Anderson is the father of 15-month-old Damon Nanez. It has been determined by this court. The biological father is Mr. Ross. You are the father, Mr. Ross. You were correct. Thank you. you don't look too happy about that, Ms. Nanez. No? Not really. So we got some work to do. We are literally all caught in the web. Everybody. You just caught up. You're not ending and resolving one relationship before you go on to the next. You're reaping what you've sown, and it's a lot. And I don't, I don't have to do that. I don't have to give you the wake-up call because I think this DNA result was it. Now, Mr. Anderson 
is on the birth certificate as father, but Mr. Ross is Damon's biological father. So you still the legal father. So you still responsible for child support and everything else. But it's his biological child. And it's been 15 months. Are you going to be willing to remove your name so that the biological father can be placed on it? Of course. You will be. Okay, so he's willing to do that because you're going to have to have some cooperation in this. You all going to have to get out this courtroom and have some conversations in the living room. <laughs> Resolve your legal issues so you can grow and evolve emotionally and you can come out of this emotional prison I feel like you're in. All right? Okay. Take care of that beautiful baby. You all get started on this legal stuff. You're going to go talk to Dr. Jeff. He'll be able to point you in the right direction and start giving you the tools to get on the right path. Yes, Sean. All right. I wish you all the very best. Court is adjourned. <laughs>